Homeowners and insurance providers are under financial pressure after Tropical Storm Hillary pushed through Southern California and Nevada over the weekend. The storm prompting multiple flash flood warnings issued by the National Weather Service. So could Tropical Storm Hillary send the home insurance industry into a crisis? Joining me now on Hillary's Impact is Divya Sangameshwar, lending trees insurance expert, along with our own Danny Romero. Romero excuse me, Divya, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Um, so how should we be thinking about this storm in California um, and how it's going to affect the insurance industry, given that it's such an unusual storm? So uh, I just wanted to clarify, when it comes to hurricanes, the biggest uh, damage comes from flooding, which is not covered by homeowners insurance. So the impact on homeowners insurance in, on the homeowners insurance industry won't be as much. However, the sad reality in California is just 1.3% of homeowners have flood insurance, which means if their homes are damaged by flooding caused by Hurricane Hillary, they're pretty much on their own. They have to pay out of pocket for the damages. Divya, it's Danny here. And hey, I Danny. want, hey, how many homes are actually considered the in the flood, flood zone right now? Do you know so in California? That's really that's a really good question because uh, FEMA, according to FEMA, it's probably around 200,000 homes, but uh, FEMA uses old flood data to determine flood risk. So some of the maps that FEMA uses are using data from the 1980s and the 1990s. And um, California's climate has changed significantly since then. So I looked at First Street Foundation, which does an amazing uh, modeling of flood risk across the country. And according to them, 23% of homes in California uh, face significant risk from flooding. Um, of course, it's not just in California where we've seen flooding, right? We've seen yes. it a, a number of other weather events. We send, see them much more frequently in places like Florida because of the changing dynamics of our climate, because of the increase in flooding. Yeah. How should we think about, you know, what percentage of homeowners, I'm sure it's a higher percentage in Florida, but still not everyone has flood coverage. So we, are we expecting to see in general in the years ahead a much heavier financial burden for homeowners as a result of these disasters? So the thing with uh, flood insurance is it should be mandated if you have a mortgage and you live in a FEMA flood zone. However, like I said, FEMA's maps are outdated. So those need to be updated so that homeowners are fully protected. And the second aspect is uh, mortgage companies will start cracking down more on homeowners who don't have flood insurance. So that will also be an added risk. In the long run, it is cheaper to have flood insurance than to not have mm -hmm. it. So if there is a takeaway here, it is get flood insurance, even if your mortgage lender doesn't require you to be uh, to get one, or if you don't think you live in a flood zone, doesn't matter, you should still shop around for flood insurance. If you can't get it through FEMA, you can still get it through private flood insurers, but it is safer to have it than not have it, especially right now where your chances of encountering a flood are much higher than they were say 30 years ago. And what are the factors on why there aren't many flood insurance policies like in force, for example, in California right now? I think a huge part of it is, you know, folks in California tend to have focused more on water scarcity than flooding. Um, and they've been more focused on other disasters like wildfires. Uh, the last time California had a hurricane, I think, was in 1997. So this hasn't been an issue until See, the beginning of this year when there was massive flooding and 90 percent of the state was under a flood watch and right now with this hurricane so for many californians this is probably the first time they're encountering flooding at this scale and they've been caught on unprepared uh divya how have the dynamics of the insurance industry changed with firms like state farm saying they're not going to write new home insurance policies in california um, it is definitely making it harder for the average consumer to get homeowners insurance because if you have fewer companies operating in a market, then your premiums will increase. And with ma a major natural disaster like flooding, that's probably going to continue. You know, you're going to have premiums go up because of volumes of claims um, and it's just going to get more complicated and you'll see a few more insurance companies pull out because they just cannot cope up with the losses that they're facing. and you know, the difficulties they face with raising premiums. 
So d- does that mean then you talked about that people need to have this flood insurance, right? That seems to even yeah. ratchet up the urgency even more. If we're going to have more insurance companies pull out, like people should have flood insurance yesterday. Yeah, I mean, you should have flood insurance simply because your homeowner's insurance is not going to cover damages from flooding. And flooding is the most expensive kind of damage that can uh, happen to your house, short of it burning down. So California is facing two of the worst kinds of disasters, um, uh, and it's putting homes at tremendous risk. So not only should you have a good homeowner's insurance policy, you should also be looking into getting flood insurance. So what is the last resort then for homeowners to do then if they're in this situation? So right now you cannot get flood insurance. I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I had better news for people who are hoping to buy it. It takes 30 days for a policy to kick in. However, given the seriousness of flooding that's happening, I suspect that this area is going to be declared a federal disaster zone, which means two things. One, you can apply for SBA loans to rebuild your home. And two, whatever losses that you ate this year, you can actually um, use as a tax deduction. So you may not be able to get your insurance to cover the damages, but there is a small silver lining. Well, that's something better than nothing. Divya, thank you so much. Thank you so much in the face of all this to give us some clarity here. Divya Sangameshwar, Lending Trees insurance expert and our Danny Romero.